it takes is one bad day. Gotham, we are almost done with season four and we have one bad day. So we're following up a little bit more, with, uh, spoilers, you should know that. Uh, we're following up a little bit more with Jeremiah, what he's up to, trying to blow up the city. We actually have quite a few characters brought into this one. Um, there's some focus on Harvey, we've got Selena, we've got Oswald, we've got Scarecrow, we've got Butch, we've got Barbara, we've got Tabitha. We, it, it, it's a mess of characters in this one. Ed, Lee, Lucius. It seems like everybody's on hand. So why am I underwhelmed? I, th I think probably a lot of it just has to do with the fact that I am just not loving Jeremiah. I think... Maybe it would have worked better if they had had more distance, more time between when Jerome exited and when Jeremiah kind of took over. They did a, like an episode, maybe two, I can't remember now, um, after Jerome died, before they, they really started to zoom in on Jeremiah. And I really feel like some more time would have benefited this because it just makes it all the easier for me to compare the two and realize how much more I like Jerome. Uh, to reiterate some things, I, it's not that I think Jeremiah is bad. It's and, and, and I like the fact that there's an emphasis on his intelligence and his mind um, and his intellect because the, the Joker is often intended to be very smart, um, but is rare, that rarely kind of translates to most of the, the adaptations of the character, especially uh, in live action. Yet, at the same time, he's just, he's not as much fun. I mean, I appreciate that he killed off Jerome's followers. I think Jerome, as a character, made that work. You know, the whole sort of cult of personality thing. Jeremiah does not have as potent a personality. And, and even though I feel like it kind of worked for Jerome at the same time. His actual followers were one of the less interesting things he had going on, so just burning them off. <laughs> See what I did there? Uh, was probably a good call, so that, that worked well. I did, you know what was the highlight for me? I really liked Harvey's moments. I liked him going in to deal with that bomb. I liked his fear at, uh, at having to make this decision. I love both his reaction and how the camera and the scene is allowed to linger after he he you know makes his choice which which wire do I do I deal with and he picks one and he doesn't blow up he lets out this sigh you can hear it's it's like he wants to cry so it's this sort of <laughs> sort of thing that comes out of him and and the camera just lingers we don't immediately cut away it's really good that's a really good moment i liked um some of the stuff with uh, with Bruce, um, I, I, I still I, like this kid's grown on me, uh, and and the Alfred stuff that worked uh, decently. Um, so, oh, but Selena, um, I I liked her stuff. I really do feel like they. Look, I hate even suggesting this. But I'm starting to think maybe they should have just killed Oswald previously. They really don't seem to know what to do with him. And I'm not enjoying watching him just keep coming up with these fly-by-night schemes that don't pan out. It's That's is not enjoyable to me. I, I feel like they needed to take him off the board for a while. You know, a bit like how for a big stretch of season two, I think he was in Arkham. Like for a significant stretch of time, and he was he was out of the game. He was doing something else, and it seems like we've just had for the majority of this season. He's he's out, and he's trying to get his power back, but it's just not working. And I'm not I'm just I'm not enjoying watching that particularly. Barbara was a little more fun this time. I'm starting to get her feel, her vibe back. She felt a little more like the Barbara I love. Um, that said, the fact that she now has a team of assassins didn't really seem to 
enter into things, which makes me really question what the point of any of that was. Uh, we've now got Ra's al Ghul teaming with Jeremiah. I'm just going to kind of shrug at that right now. Uh, hopefully something more interesting will will come out of that. I, I appreciate some elements of this. I appreciate the uh, bits that it pulled from the killing joke, the entire one bad day concept, uh, certain elements of what Jeremiah does to try and drive Bruce nuts is similar to what the Joker puts uh, Gordon through in The Killing Joke. So I, I appreciate that. I recognize it. But doing an homage to a well-written piece of earlier material doesn't automatically make me think, oh, so this is a well-written piece of material because I'm just, I don't know, guys. Um, you know, Ed and Lee, that I'm still finding that interesting if that does become flat out that, you know, she is just um, using him and we find that out for certain. It's probably going to be, uh, not, I, I've, well, either that'll happen or he'll decide, he'll decide in his own head that must be what she's doing and that'll be the split. I'm not particularly interested in seeing either of those options play out. I... <sighs> And I also, I consider this spoilers for the next uh, episode. So these bombs are still going to go off. Uh, maybe not in the way Jeremiah originally planned, but there's still going to be bombs going off. We're going to be getting, uh, we're going to be leaving with Cataclysm and No Man's Land. We are, we are getting a reshaped Gotham. That's totally going to be what happens. And assuming the show comes back, because I don't... I should have checked this. I don't know if it's officially gotten a, ne a next season renewal or not. Um, I did hear Fox just canceled Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which I'm not happy about. But in any case, assuming that it does get a next season, this doing No Man's Land or some variant of it is the kind of thing that I think the show kind of needs right now. It's starting to fall into ruts a little bit with how often the city is threatened by something that detonates whether it's detonating a gas in the air or it's an actual explosion or whatever and how often you know the the same people are just cycling through who's in control of uh of organized crime in gotham and they just seem to be taking it in turns and i'm just i'm ready for a shake-up so i'm still i this this season overall, I would say it's the weakest season since season one, almost definitely. Whether or not I consider it to overall be weaker than season one might come down to um, next week's episodes, the the um, the season finale. We'll see. This wasn't a bad season overall, but it really did peter out. It's lost a lot of momentum, and, and it didn't start great either. So there was a stretch in the middle that was working really well. Um, but um, right now, I don't know. I'm just kind of ready for the season to be done. And that's just kind of where I'm at. So... Latest episode of Gotham. What did you think about it? Whatever your thoughts are, drop something down in the comments. Let's talk about it. There's all that stuff to do. You can support me on Patreon if you want to try and make all this stuff possibly better than it already is. I have t-shirts and a Twitter and a podcast and links for all that stuff is down in the description. So until next time, this council is adjourned.